So my first camper build was a no build camper and basically it was a platform upon which we could all sleep. Underneath was storage and also with all the seats out there was that big chunk of area underneath where the third row seats tucked in. The setup also allowed me to have one rear, well middle row seat passenger and this only works on, this partic my particular design only works on a second generation Sienna, the one that has the loops in the floor rather than the tracks, which they did for the third generation. So these are all the pieces. There's three quarter inch plywood and two by tens. There's also some scraps of three quarter inch that I used to support the rear section of plywood once the center was assembled and the, the front section was assembled. So you can see the hardware that I put all of this together with just there on that on that piece of plywood. There were some eye bolts and some wood screws and that pretty much put it all together. The eye bolts I'll have better pictures of in a little bit. So this bed platform you can see with the tape measure is just over six feet long at the short section and it goes full width of the van. So this central piece of plywood was mounted to three two by tens and it would slide back into place so that it would fit close to the edge of the deep well where the rear seats used to be the third row seats and you can see the eye bolt there and how that is latched onto one of the middle middle row seat metal bars that the middle row seats mount to the little cutout on the right side of it is for the back of the second row seat as this goes right up against it. The center plywood section is mounted first to the two side pieces of 2x10 then I slide that back to line up with the edge of the center piece that is already attached to the floor. So here the central plywood is moved back and you can see there's just a little tiny bit of overhang of the 2x10s and that's to support the piece of plywood that goes behind in the rear of it. So here you can see the center 2 by 10 locked down to the floor. There's an eye bolt in the, in the upright that the eye bolt that, that's attached to the floor goes through. With a, there's a big washer and a nut that tightens those down. And you can see that they're also going in opposite directions so that it will prevent it from going in either direction. There's also a little bit of a notch I cut into that to clear the plastic thing on the floor that the board is spanning over. So the center section has a perpendicular board attached to it. At the bottom of that board is also a small piece of three quarter inch plywood as a spacer because of the unevenness of the floor. The, the bottom of the screen upright is a three quarter inch piece of plywood that would slide in and out to hold the piece of plywood when the seat was folded up out of the way. So the rear section is supported by the three uprights by having a little bit hanging over beyond the middle piece of plywood. And then the, both sides have supports that, as you can see, I made little pieces of plywood that are notched out to support those to hold those up so that when the plywood sat on top it was held in place. Here's the front section from another angle from the other side and you can see the little bit of plywood kind of sticking out at the at the junction of those two two by tens and you can see it underneath the the length of the of it. So this is with the all the boards on the sleeping platform. The lowest piece of plywood is a removable piece that gets put in place when the middle row seat is folded up against behind the, the driver's seat. So this is kind of the sleeping mode. And here's the platform a little bit closer up. So this is the platform looking at it from the other side. You can see the notch at the bottom of the picture. That was cut out so that the water bottle holder in the sliding door would actually be able to hold the water bottle. And the cutout notch on the other side is Obviously that's where the seat behind the driver's seat was folded up against. So this is an underside view. You can see the attachments. The center one has a couple of attachments on it and the two side ones have one on each of them. 
Here's an underside view of the front. You can see the three quarter inch plywood that's underneath that perpendicular upright. And you can see the notch for the plastic on the floor. And you can also see how that's kind of suspended up off the floor at the front of it. And here's one last view of the underside. And you can see the support that's on the side of the two by 10 on the left side. And the removable piece is up front where you can see that. So this is the platform from an early camping trip. You can see the storage space underneath and the supports on either side of that backboard. So we used this camping platform for about 15 years before I finally decided to upgrade to a complete camper build. I hope this gives you some ideas if you're looking for a minimal kind of camper conversions that you can throw in and take out. And this takes me only about 20 minutes to install it once I've got the seats out of the car. It's a pretty quick install. But hopefully this gives you some ideas to go on if you're looking for a pretty minimal install. And thanks for watching the video and making it this far. All right. Thanks a lot.